Hi, uh, my name is Belle, and I've been part of the program for actually two or three weeks, so I haven't been here that long. But I've been able to learn a lot about um, more effective communication. So um, at my school, Case Western, I am a ROCHI and sorority recruitment, which is basically an orientation leader for these young women who hope to join a sorority. And what we do in sorority recruitment is something called values-based recruitment, where we try to match that women's values with the sorority's values to find the best fit for them, what sorority is the most right for them. So in doing this, I had to have a lot of really deep conversations with them about what is important to them, what are their values, which is actually a lot like session one in this health coaching program. So when I came to this program and I found out, okay, health or session one is about values, I thought, okay, I'm like, I'm gonna be okay at this because I've been trained in this, I've been in tra trained in emotional intelligence through my training for recruitment, so I thought I would be pretty okay talking to people about their values and I would know kind of what to say and what kind of feedback to give. However, when we were going through the protocol for session one, Dr. Cohen kept drilling me on my use of would versus could. So I would say, um, we will do this during the session rather than we can do this during that session. And it was really frustrating, but then I realized that the simple switching of will versus can is me taking away the power from the person who I'm trying to help rather than giving them that power. And I realized that even in my role as a ROCHI or my role as an orientation leader for freshmen, I could have been doing that. And instead of giving them the options, I was taking those options away. So even through the third week of this health coaching program, I have learned more effective communication in how I'm mentoring and um, leading other people. Thanks.